Hello, I'm Tenran432, and today we are going to be playing the final part of Mega Man Zero Two. So anyway, in the last part we took down who was it, Fairy Leviathan and fighting Fefnir on our way into the core of Neo Arcadia, and now we're going to go to the third area, the Temple of Wind. And uh well, if Fefnir and Fairy Leviathan were in the last two, I bet you I couldn't guess who's in the last stage of New Arcadia. Anyway, no um, extra Cyber Elves to upgrade Zero this time, or at least none I will take my time to uh, use on screen. But anyway, let's just jump straight into the stage. Okay, cool music check. And um, this one, like the other one, you have to go into a room and it's themed, and it's kind of like a puzzle. But, um, for this one, if you would remember the stage on the plane that was going to bomb the, the resistance base or whatever, it had these electric things that you could use to stop the lasers from going, which you needed to do, um, to get across. And, um, yeah, those are the same electric things you can find here. They, uh, are timed, you just gotta hit them, and then the lasers fall. Pretty self-explanatory. And then you gotta get across before they turn back on. Which can be tough sometimes when you when you get locked in an, a room full of lasers that has no laser switch. But anyway, now that we're past uh, the first of those rooms, we got this part. You can fall down and grab this cyber elf along with a few E crystals. And now we can keep going and there's these moving platforms um, that were in Mega Man Zero One. You gotta jump on those. And then you can actually climb to the top of the little uh, temple, tower, whatever you want to call them things um, by using the chain rod to jump across here. But as you can see, I failed the first time. So now I'm going to try again. And I failed the second time. So now I will try a third time, and drum roll, and I made it, just barely. Anyway, uh, there's just an extra life up there. Um, I believe in some copies of the game there is a glitch where you can uh, use the chain rod to glitch through the walls, but I don't know how to do that, and this is just a regular playthrough, not a speedrun or anything, so I don't really have to. Um, also, I don't know if this version you can do that, because it's like a... I think it's a European version. Oh, well. Never mind. So just continue with the stage, and there's more electric rooms. I don't know why I decided to climb up there. Same concept. Concept. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, continue on the stage. Um, at this point, I tried to electric shock the laser system to uh, make it go uh, turn up turn on um, after a longer period of time, but then I realized that all of that it does was um, freeze it before it turns off, which was useful in the electric or the airplane stage, but not quite so much here. Anyway, we got to the top, and now we'll continue climbing upward, and there's is enemies with shields. I'm not sure how to defeat them from the front, maybe a charge shot or something. But then there's these enemies that try to grab you, but then you dash under them, so it's not really a problem. And just continue upward. And I believe that we're almost there. Just one more turn around here. Assuming I don't like fall off or anything. But these enemies that are floating in the air will like those ones. They'll try to shoot you and then you'll fall back a little, which could mess up your platforming. And, uh, yeah, just continue on. Notice the power cables in the background. Not that they're important or anything, they just look cool. But anyway, here we are. Boss fight. Last boss fight before we get to the core of Neo Arcadia. And if you guess correctly, then... Wait a minute, what's this? Harpuya! Ha ha ha. You've made it here at last, Zero. Look, this is Dark Elf, a peaceful Cyber Elf, which will bring peace to this world. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hehe, 
It will not be long before I can get rid of all the humans who waste our valuable energy and destroy New Arcadia, which protects them. All I have to do is destroy X, who has been interfering with the revival of the Dark Elf. Or just Dark Elf. I won't let that happen. Huh? You. You can still say such a thing? Be a good boy and die. <laughs> wow, a little harsh there. You must know your own worth. Um, I skipped ahead before I can read it. <laughs> I've acquired a power that no one can match. I've become invincible. Hehehe. <laughs> he. It's getting late. Time to wake the Dark Elf up. Let's celebrate their history, new history of the world. I don't know if that's what it said. I skipped ahead to that. Why don't you enjoy yourselves? Well then, enjoy. Wait, but he said enjoy two times. Oh well, never mind. Oh no. Ugh. Zero. Kill me. Just kill me. I will soon be controlled by Baby Elf. Kill me now and stop him. Okay, after that amazingly well acted scream, Harpedia turns into an airplane thing. Anyway, um, one of his, a few of his main attacks include um, doing that thing where he tries to hit you from flying back there or something. Another where you have to dash underneath him, just shown there. Um, another where he shoots missiles at you, and this one, I, you have to go where the other purple thing is before the other one comes and be in like the middle or something. I don't know how it works either. And, uh, I believe his weakness, because he's the electric type, is the ice. And, uh, yeah, he has his missile attack, just try to dodge the missiles, some you have to dash under, some you have to jump over. Just watch out. And then just keep using your fully charged shot, and looks like I already got him mostly dead. Mostly dead. Um, anyway, there you go. Pretty quick if you know what you're doing with the fully charged ice shots. And that is the end of that mission. Well, it looks like the baby elves left. <sighs> Hurry, Zero. Protect Master X and the world from him. I understand. Leave it to me. I've set a coordinate access, blah, 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 we can turn to base, okay, let's do that. Um, I'm currently in Mount Shasta, and there's a huge cloud covering the mountain. It's a little bit off-topic, 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 but, um, it looks like the mountain is disappearing. I'm just gonna put a clip, quick clip of the mountain in there, because it's kind of freaking me out right now. So, yeah, I know that there's a cloud covering it, but, um... Yeah, if you've ever seen Mount Shasta in pictures or in real life, then you'll know that's not what it looks like. <laughs> anyway, back to the video game. So, um, we are about to go into the final level of Mega Man Zero Two. I know it took me forever to make Mega Man Zero Two. I have no idea how long, but really, it's been taking too long. So, let's finally get this over with. Um, I don't know, stop Alpizo from getting the Dark Elf, or whatever the plot of this game was. So here we go. Alright, here we are. Final level, cool music, and, uh, are those D-pads coming down from the ceiling? I don't know, they just look like D-pads to me. I... I D does anybody else see that? Anyway, on with the level, it's probably pretty irrelevant. And, uh, this is a pretty easy... Most of the level is pretty easy, you just gotta go around, watch out for these bats and these green... 
one eye cyclops, whatever they are. Pantheon. Burp. Pantheons, whatever they're called. And, uh, just, uh, be careful, don't land in spikes. And now, because there's a boss, a boss rush in this final level, I'm gonna speed it up so you guys don't have to watch me fight the bosses again. Okay, so now that we're done with the first segment of the boss rush and the stage, let's continue on, keep going through, pass by the D-pads, um, jump up these ladders for some reason, fight more pantheons, jump over spikes, and that's pretty much the main stage, um, this main stage in a nutshell. Just keep going. Um, I would say try not to get hit too much because the boss rush and the final boss, you might need all of the health points that you can, but uh, I clearly don't care because of how reckless I'm, play I'm playing, and I know I'm not going to get an S rank or anything because of my Cyber Elves upgrades. Um, but yeah, I think we're almost to the second boss rush part. Yeah, it's right, right across that door. Gotta jump between these ladders somehow and continue on. And uh, yeah. Speed up. Actually, let's uh, slow that down a little bit for this next part. It, I believe it's pretty interesting. And uh, yeah. The greatest thing ever is about to awaken. Another chapter in our glorious history begins. Let's go, little brother. Yes, brother. Okay, that wasn't my best voice acting ever. But anyway, um, you might remember earlier on that um, plane that was trying to uh, blow up the resistance base that I keep talking about. Um, there was this guy, and you might even further, really, further, really, you might remember further to Mega Man Zero One. This red guy was the first, um, in the first stage of Neo Arcadia, he was the main boss there. But anyway, when we defeated the blue guy, he yelled out something like, Brother, um, I failed to avenge you or something. And, uh, yeah, now that they've been resurrected for the boss rush, uh, we get to fight both of them. So, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, they all use up one health bar, um... And when they run out of health, they do this, and you just have to jump over them. And then they're like, what happened, brother? We were manipulated. Ugh. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Shows that the Dark Elf and El Paizo was manipulating them, and they aren't fighting me by choice this time. Okay, now that we're finally done with the boss rush, um, we can continue on and go to the final part. Anyway, uh, you probably couldn't read it, but uh, if you could, you would uh, know when you defeat all of the Mavericks, or whatever they're called, um, they start talking about how they don't know how they got there, how the El Paizo and the Baby Elf were messing with them, and uh, how they were probably being manipulated. So, uh, yeah. In Probably not their choice this time, so I thought that was interesting, or whatever you want me to call it. Anyway, I just swung across to get that uh, one up there. Um, yeah, pretty dangerous. Using the, um, whatever it is, chain rod. And uh, when that spider got me and then I landed in the spikes, I didn't die because of that cyber elf. That overpowered cyber elf that reduces the damage you take. Or at least when you land on spikes, that's as far as I know. Burp. But anyway, let's continue on, and I believe we are almost to the end. 
just gotta grab this health because it's gonna have too much health. And climb down this ladder. And don't fall in the spikes. And we're almost there. I think this is the last vertical hallway. <sighs> or not. I guess this stage just keeps going. It's a big tower. But anyway, here we are. Okay, finally, it's time to end this once and for all. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Zero. Nothing is worse than having a show that no one comes to watch. Once I destroy the original X, I will be invincible. I won't let that happen. What the? <laughs> Thank you for coming to my show, but I'm afraid that this is the real retirement of your friend. <laughs> Time to die, X, and release the Dark Elf. A lot of explosions there. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! I did it! I did it at last! I terminated the legendary hero! I destroyed X! At last! Oh, I think my accent faded out. Oh well. Okay. Oh, uh, those, it grew wings? Or, or those arms? I don't know. I don't know what's going on, guys. Oh well. Pixie dog. Well, that was fun. Oh well. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, the first time I saw this, um, this part here, I kind of freaked out a little. I don't know. It's not that scary, but you know, freaked me out the first time I saw it. Well, there he is. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Zero. I'm going to terminate you, destroy all near Arcadia, and exterminate all the human beings. What do you say? A world without humans, only for Reploids. Don't you think it would be paradise, paradise? <laughs> okay, well, here's our, um, Alpizo, his first form. He has a sword for some reason. Um, he likes to shoot this purple circle thing and uh, absorb all your health if it catches you so yeah watch out for that he also likes to summon enemies from some kind of portal uh, I don't know how but he does and then he does this weird sword fighting thing um I, I don't know what to call it I'm, I, I don't know anything about sword fighting <laughs> anyway uh, he does that and then okay this is that attack I was talking about then he also has this attack where he sends the projectiles and they explode. Oh, that attack from under kind of shape. Oh, well, they do like a. They explode on the ground and then they spread around the ground or something. I don't know how to describe it. But um, I'd say that purple attack um, where he absorbs your health is the most effective. And uh, yeah. This can't be. I was supposed to be invincible. I'm supposed to have power that nearly brought the world to destruct- I don't know what that said. It was not enough, Dark Elf. Give me more strength. Strength. Oh no. Um, yeah, that scream kind of freaked me out the first time I heard it too. 
Um, yeah. But anyway, so let's try to beat this guy with the health that we have. Um, yeah, he likes to teleport around. Um, he likes to create these gold things. It's either a platform that you can ride on or those um, things that crush you. Then he sends out these weird blue things to kill you. One of them you have to dash under, one of them you have to jump over. Or just dash over or under one of them and let the other go pass by. But um, he also sends out these green things that you can destroy with a charge shot. And then he moves around by teleporting very slowly. It really isn't really that much, doesn't have a point. Anyway, uh, just watch out for all of the attacks because um, if you like me and they, you don't have enough health, then it could be pretty dangerous, but I guess we got him. So. <sighs> there we go. Mega Man Zero Two, people. And a new form has awakened. It's the proto form. You get it for beating the game. And it's also the form that you play as in hard mode. But I'm not going to be doing that, so... Uh... Thank you, Zero. Thank you for stopping me. You... You saved me. I almost did something. That can't be forgiven. Thank you so much. I was so weak-minded. I was so pathetic. Accepting your failures in life is a very difficult thing. I think that I've become a little stronger from this lesson. Time to say goodbye, Zero. Tell Seal I'm sorry. Oh. Me? Me? Run away. More pixie dust, yay. I feel warm. Uh. She turned El Paizo into a cyber elf. How could she do that? Oh well. <laughs> he looks like a happy cyber elf. It appears that she saved me. She's not evil. Thank you, Zero. And goodbye. That, that turned into like an Irish accent thing. Why? Oh well, never mind. Zero. Zero. Huh? Oh, it grew wings again. What is it doing? Oh well. I have no idea. I guess it's gonna fly away. Or maybe those are arms. Maybe I've been looking at it wrong the entire time. Oh well. Um. Oh, okay. There it is. She wasn't always called the Dark Elf. When she was born, she had a mission to save the world, and had another name. However, when her ability became a threat of world destruction, they began to call her the Dark Elf since someone called Dr. Wilde placed a curse on her. Ooh, Dr. Wilde, who's that? I feel that I know her. Dark Elf. Dot, da, dot, dot. Well... I guess that's the end of Mega Man Zero Two. So, yay, it's finally done. It only took me seven months, but you know, oh well. I'll try to do my all the games faster next time. Probably gonna uh, do the next, probably Mega Man Zero Three for my next game. But um, yeah, this has been Mega Man Zero Two. And, uh, I guess I'm gonna try to read all the names in the credits, because <laughs> that's what I always do. Anyway, here we go. There's the character designer, Toru Nakayama. And there are the character staff, Mazaya Suzuki. <laughs> um, Hirokatsu Maeda. Okay, I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of these right, I just do it. But, you know, people tell me, uh, 
people in the comments tell me uh, how much of these I'm getting right. Yeah. Next we got the background designer, uh, Noburu Honda. <laughs> and Hayad Hayateka Katsuki? Oh no, they're going away. Oh well. Programmers. Um, what do we got? Takayuki Ingu- Ingu- Ingu? <laughs> Sorry, I don't- I don't know Japanese. Okay, what else? Ippo- Ippo- Ippo Yamada? Okay. Music? <laughs> okay. Music, the great part of the Mega Man series. Chicken Mod. Okay. We also got Tezumo Roto- Tezumo Kurihara. Okay, here's the voice cast. Uh, Yuto Kazama. Ria Kanaka. Kanaka. Um. Oh, I skipped a few. Yuka Inai and Tsutuma. Ka. Oh, I missed it. Okay, package designer was Ekemi Iwasaki. Test players Akanori Murata and Takashi Hashimoto. And Nek. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> um. Yeah, this is always a really fun part of my video game let's plays. I love pronouncing Japanese names. Oh well. Um, the last one I can see is Tekishi Horinoshi. <laughs> oh well. Aw, oh, these ones are names. It's Holy Peak, Accent, Dramatic Department, Studio A2, Krista, Riverside Music, and some. Okay, I'll read the last one Aki Tatsuno. <laughs> um, producers Takuya Aizu and Keiji Inafune, I think. And uh, yeah, produced and copyright by Capcom. And say thank yous for playing. Oh well. Well, thank you for watching. Oh, there it goes. Thank you for playing. Well, thank you for watching my playthrough of Mega Man Zero Two. Yeah, I'll try to upload more frequently. And uh, yeah, the next game I'm doing is Mega Man Zero Three. So yeah. See you soon. It seems the Dark Elf has been awakened. Okay, at this point, my controller got unplugged, so I couldn't... Oh, well, I, sh I should have plugged it back in by now. <laughs> Any second. Awkward pause. <laughs> the time has come for you to take action, Omega. Ooh, Omega. <laughs> well, I wonder what Omega is. Oh, hard mode, yay. I'm not gonna be playing hard mode, but okay. Who is Omega? I guess we'll have to find out in the sequel. Dun dun dun. Oh well. Um, yeah, this has been a, <laughs> um, a long time, but I finally finished Mega Man Zero 2, and, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, um, peace and sheep.